Hello, my name is Silvana Padron. I'm originally from Montevideo, Uruguay. My question uh, with this verses of scripture comes from the fact that sometimes the opposition, the abandonment, or the criticism comes from within our families. And my question is, how can we use these verses of scriptures uh, to help us deal and even thrive in the face of difficult family circumstances? I think there's a particular pain to the situation Silvana is describing where you have something you care so much about in, in gospel and beliefs and the resistance comes within family. Right. Now, Jesus understood this, right? Because he saw it. That was definitely true. Jesus was not always received well. And the people who followed him, they, they had those tough situations. One of the Beatitudes in verse 10, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, right? So Jesus knows that sometimes you can be doing the right thing and that's what someone's upset yeah. about, right? He says too, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, right? He knows. Even in those moments, you're not alone. You're standing in a long line of people who made it and held on through this trial. I love there was a talk by uh, Hugh, Hubie Brown where he talked about the, the current mm -hmm. bush. And he said, you know, he had this bush in his yard and, and, and he, as he was trimming the bush, he heard the kind of this, <laughs> this thought in his mind like, you know, I don't want to be this bush. I want to be like that really tall tree over there. And sometimes we, we sit and then we look around and we say, man, that person, they must have a perfect life. Their marriage must be incredible. Their children, look how amazing they are. But yet I'm going through this difficult experience. I'm this current bush and I'm getting cut down. And I love it says, you know, he heard the voice in his head. It says, no, my little bush, I am the gardener here. I have planted you to be a source of fruit and an adornment in this part of my garden. And I'm going to prune you, prune you back to size. He then shares about this experience he had. He thought he was going to get this promotion mm -hmm. and, he's, and he didn't get it. And he, and he was kind of questioning the Lord, like, why? Why is this happening to me? How can I, why can't I have that? And he heard the same voice in his head is like, I'm the gardener here. I have a plan for you. And, you know, sometimes we go through life experiences. We go through difficult times. We go through trials. We think everyone else has it better than we do. And um, if we go to the Lord and, and we get on our knees and we, we, can, we can hear that voice to say, you're my son, you're my daughter. I have a plan for you. It may not be the plan that you thought, but trust.